Hi everyone, this is Mr. Brand again. Um, try, time for our drawing of the day. Um, today we're going to switch it up a little bit and we are going to start our drawing by we're going to draw a nice ground line that goes all the way across our paper. We'll have our paper horizontal and I want you to draw a nice ground line which will actually become a road. Now we're going to draw a car today, kind of a race car, and so what I want you to do is somewhere right here I want you to decide where your two wheels will go. And I want your back wheel to be a nice simple circle and then when you decide how long your car is, the second wheel, not tiny, but not the same size, just a little bit smaller. And we're going to draw another circle right there. Okay? Now, before we get going, let's make some cool wheels on it. So we're going to draw another circle inside of it, like this. We're going to put another circle in here. And then I'm going to draw right in the center a little circle, just a tiny one kind of peeking out there. And then for my actual wheels, I'm going to do some four just kind of U shapes to give it kind of that look. You can do whatever you want in your wheels, but I'm going to go one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the right, and one at the left. And there I have some really cool wheels. Now, I'm going to draw the bottom of my car, like from one wheel to the other. Once I've drawn that, I'm going to put a little line coming out from the front wheel, maybe just a little farther. There we go. And then I'm going to go to the back and right about halfway, right about halfway on the wheel on the back, I'm going to draw a curved line going up like that. Now, you can go as high as you want. Now, I'm going to go just past this wheel here. So I'm going to draw down and just kind of curve it like that. Okay, I don't want to go clear to the middle, but I want to just go outside of that wheel. And then on the other side, I'm going to start here and I'm going to come up, curve it over the top, and stop somewhere right there. Once I've done that, now we're going to connect where they where the driver will sit. So we're going to just connect it like that. And again, your line can be any kind of line. You're making up your race car, so that's kind of cool. After we're done with that, we're going to put a little spoiler on the back. It just kind of makes it more like a race car. So I'm going to draw two little lines coming up. And then I'm going to draw the little top of the spoiler on it. And again, you can add little detail lines. Maybe you want to put some stippling dots on it for details. Just make your race car really cool. Now, we're going to go about, not quite halfway in this curved line, but somewhere right about here, I'm going to draw a curved line that goes up. And then I'm going to curve it back down like that. That's kind of the back of where they sit. I'm going to add just kind of a cool little design on it. You can put whatever you want on it. I'm just putting a little star on it, but you can put anything, a number you like or your initial. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draw kind of like a little windshield on the front, like that. Okay. Now, you obviously have to have a driver. So we're going to go right in here, and all I'm going to do is draw kind of like a circle that's going down behind the car. And because this is a race car, he's going to have a helmet on. Okay. And then we're going to go to the front because we're going to put a little curved line here and a little curved line here for the 
light. Now, we've just created a simple race car. What I want you to do now is put some design. So if you want, uh, once I get done showing you, uh, you can do whatever you want. If you want to add a little step rail at the bottom, if you want to add an exhaust pipe, maybe something like this, where maybe I decide there's all kinds of smoke coming out, or you get fire coming out, whatever you want, this is your race car. And then I can design any kind of race car I want. Maybe I want to put a number, my favorite number uh, is nine, so I might put my race car as number nine. You can pick your favorite number. Um, I might decide, you know what, I think I'm going to put some flames on my car. So I might, coming out of that nine, I might do a flame coming out and another flame coming out. Maybe I want to put some racing stripes or just some stripes on my car. You can make this any way you want. I might add a few little details on the windshield. I might add some details on my tire. You just go wild with your imagination coming up with whatever you want. Once I have my race car drawn, and I might add some more details on it, um, once I have that done, then you can look at, do I want to draw something in the background? Um, I could draw a sky. I could draw buildings back here. Um, you could draw anything you want. Um, I'm going to leave that part up to you, and I want to see what kind of great imagination you can come up with the background. And again, it can be anything you want. You could have your race car on the moon if you want with planets up here. Um, anything like that. I want you to, now that we've done an observation drawing where we drew where you went with me on the steps, now I want you to really come up with some cool background for your race car. I hope you enjoyed the drawing today. And remember, art is essential. And don't forget, I really want you, once you get the drawing done, that's only the first part. I want you to go in if you want to outline it. And remember, you don't have to outline with a Sharpie. You can outline with a black marker. You can outline with a blue marker. You can outline with whatever you have at your house. Um, and then I want you to really take your time coloring it. Uh, look at what you can use. And if you want to use paint for part of it and um, you want to use markers for part of it and color pencils, or you want to shade with a pencil. Try anything that you have at your house. You can make some beautiful artwork by doing that. I hope you have a great day, and remember, art is essential.